Good morning. I thought I would show you this morning the application of uh, Roxol's Comfort Board IS. It's a um, semi rigid uh, mineral wool insulation. And I thought I would show you the application to a foundation wall using a membrane from Suprema called uh, Colfine Torchon Stick. It's a torchon membrane that has a uh, torchable top surface that allows you to embed insulation, uh, i.e. mineral wool or even foam, uh, if you're careful, um, dimple board, or other wall protection systems. It's specifically designed for that. Um, it is being married to a transition membrane at the bottom called uh, Soprolene Flamstick, also from Suprema. The uh, Soprolene was, using, was used instead of the Sopra Flash uh, because it has a composite uh, reinforcement instead of glass reinforcement and that is needed to better conform to the uh, complex curves without uh, snapping the reinforcement. If it was glass it would tend to uh, snap and then that has been married to a uh, fast foot uh, footing form. Uh, I'll go more into fast foot uh, at a future time, but I would not recommend its use on future projects. Uh, rising damp uh, could be uh, addressed using a uh, membrane, horizontal membrane that is uh, even, even something like this is just trawled into the wet concrete after the footing pour and by the use of uh, a keyway instead of dowels so that it's not penetrated. But now we will uh, go ahead and show you the application of uh, the rock saw onto uh, the foundation. Uh, this could be, in my case, it's an ICF foundation. I'm using a mineralized uh, wood fiber and cement slurry uh, ICF block from Duracell, so you can torch onto it. It's one of the benefits of that style of foundation. Um, you would not be able to use this product on an ICF foundation made out of EPS, obviously. You would uh, destroy the EPS. Uh, you could also use this membrane on just a conventional site uh, poured uh, foundation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Uh, because I have a curve at the bottom, again, the, the fast foot uh, makes curved uh, profiles a little bit harder to deal with. But because there is a curve at the bottom and I want this to be tight into the curve, I'm going to start by only applying heat at, say, the top foot and uh, letting it just hang, and then the back fill will push it in uh, tight later on. Okay? So let's get started. And uh, once I've done that, I just give the, uh, the surface just above the wall a little extra heat. And it allows some of that bitumen to flow down and uh, come onto the top surface. And that uh, allows for a pretty good uh, hanging effect. Hold it there for about 30 seconds. And uh, we're done. The top piece, because it's a flatter wall, I will then torch the whole surface and uh, push the, uh, the uh, insulation into the membrane. So it's that easy to uh, embed uh, the rock sole into uh, the torchon surface. Uh, visit us at theenclosure.ca for uh, more information on uh, these products as well as the build in general. And uh, thanks for visiting today.
Cheers.